Andy Carson. This is Ed McMahon, along with Doc Severinsen and the NBC Orchestra, inviting you to join Johnny and his guests, Robin Williams and Beth Midler. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. with you. I don't know if I can take another night of this. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's, uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, you're sure you're in a good mood? You've been outside for 12 hours with a thermos of margaritas. <laughs> I looked out and saw a little light. Did you see the going on in front of the building out here? It's like a circus out there. There are two mimes and an Elvis impersonator working in the line. Out there. I looked out and the guy was trying to assemble a barbecue grill out there. <laughs> Well, anyway, it's, uh, it's almost over. I, you know what? I feel like a chicken. And the colonel is whipping up those 11 herbs and spices. Uh, all we have is tonight and tomorrow, and I'm gone. God, I... I, I'll, I haven't used that line since World War II. Friend. Yes, my dear, I'm going overseas. Mm -hmm. You betcha. <laughs> Look, it's not like we're not going to ever see each other again. I mean, we're still on from Memorial Day, my place, two o'clock, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, our leaving is already causing a ripple effect. Today I saw Jim Fowler and a boa constrictor in the unemployment line <laughs> waiting to get in. <laughs> but anyway, General Electric, the conglomerate with a heart, took me for my final dinner, took me for a, a final dinner before the show. They wanted to get to Coco's early before the prices changed. <laughs> Any Brown supporters here? I'm talking Murphy Brown. Uh, well, let's, let's go to the news and see if Dan Quayle has condemned the, condemned the lifestyle of Urkel on Family Matters. You get the feeling that Dan Quill's golf bag doesn't have a full set of irons? Uh, look, I worry about Dan. Today, today he demanded that Murphy put the baby up for adoption and let the Cosbys raise it. I don't quite understand that. Now he's got a beef with Hee Haw, the vice president. He claims that when Minnie Pearl wears that price tag on her hat, it promotes prostitution. Now, I don't know. 
I don't know if you saw this quote of our Vice President of the United States, but he said, and I quote, illegitimacy is something that we should talk about in terms of not having. <laughs> How about illiteracy is something we should talk about sometimes without having? All the candidates have squared on the issue. Dan Quayle is against Murphy Brown. Clinton is for Murphy Brown. Perot is going into seclusion for three weeks and watch the reruns. He's not quite sure what he wants to do. Anyway, this is our last show where we are going to have performers, and we could not have two better performers here tonight. Very quiet, laid-back people. <laughs> Mr. Robin Williams and Bette Midler. The galaxy. We have no weapons of any kind. Isn't big enough. What are we going to use the bait? For the both of them. <laughs> it's here! The biggest, baddest, best of them all. Four stars. It's edge of your seat nail biting time again. Stunning, a real roller coaster ride. Sigourney Weaver. It has to die. Alien 3, rated R. Starts tomorrow at theaters everywhere. go into the creation of a new car, yet rarely do they come together so beautifully. Presenting the all-new 1992 Toyota Camry. We just couldn't leave well enough alone. At home base, our everyday prices are so low that if you ever see something advertised for less, just bring in the ad and we'll beat it by 5%. Home base, it's that simple. Come to Home Base and pick up Stern's miracle Grow all-purpose plant or lawn food. Use both with the miracle Grow no-clog feeder. Also, pick up a Flexon free-flow hose, kink-free and double nylon reinforced for lasting quality. Home Base, it's that simple. In the real world, the genuine article almost never goes on sale. But when it does, everybody notices. Your Chrysler Plymouth dealers proudly announce Chrysler's first national minivan sale. Plymouth Voyager and Chrysler Town & Country both offer a $1,000 rebate. Plus, up to an additional $1,600 cash back on popular family options like sunscreen glass, anti-lock brakes, or built-in child seats. The genuine article is now on sale. Real advantages for the real world, only at your local Chrysler Plymouth dealers. Okay, now, I want to uh, I may not get a... I may not get a chance to thank a few people tomorrow because we've got a show, uh, some segments lined up. We've got some, a, a terrific art department here, and all the art you see on the show, you know, between the more to come slides are painted by six people, and I want to uh, thank them for making those spots look so good. They're Don, uh, Dan Locke, Don Locke, Rick Andrioli, Bill Davis, Leo Durenio, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Leo. Jim Messerly and Carolyn Collins Shoes. Those are the beautiful. Right, right. Well, thank you, Jim. Now, we have. We've been playing little excerpts from uh, past shows of the past 20 or 30 years, and we weren't going to play this one. And we started getting mail from people say, you must do it one more time. It goes back to uh, 1965. We haven't played this for seven years. And he's just a little, it's in black and white. Uh, because somebody made a kinescope. We didn't save those early tapes. And it has to do with Ed Ames. Uh, Ed Ames was, had with, with his uh, brothers, you know, was the Ed Ames, and he was, he's a marvelous singer, still is. But he was then playing on a show called Daniel Boone, I guess, with Fess Parker. Right. And he was playing Mongo, Ming, Mingo, Mingo the Indian. And he came on the show to give us a demonstration and a proper technique for throwing a tomahawk. And it created probably one of the most memorable, cl memorable clips and longest laughs we've ever had on this show. So we take you back to 1965 with Ed Ames. 
That's just a hatchet, isn't it? That's just. I thought it was going to be an old Indian tomahawk. And this is doing it the hard way because a tomahawk had had a blade on each side, and it's pretty That's hard right. to they miss. Were, they were doubled. Uh, if you couldn't get the guy in front of you, you know, you come back and. <laughs> Sorry about that, running fox. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they put it? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Mingo. Well, shall we have Get a go? Get your ax, ax and let's go. All right. <laughs> what is the trick on this? You throw underhanded? No. Oh, the, uh, overhanded. It's then. an overhand throw. The trick is to keep your arm extended and that way you break the microphone. You know, you keep your arm extended and uh, put only one revolution on the uh, once around, once around uh, on the way. But uh, that's indefinite. Put that in the comedy vault and seal that up forever. Right. But was that a moment? Oh. Robin Williams, Bette Midler here. We'll be back. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar made a little bet with his good friend Larry Bird. I'll tell you what, I bet you can't eat just one. One Lay's potato chip. One potato chip. Kareem failed to mention that these were new Lay's potato chips. It's a real bet. And if you lose, then I win the bet. <laughs> Crunchier Lay's potato chips with more potato taste. Uh -huh. So they're more irresistible than ever. Just, just one? I can't believe you did this to me. Oh, no, it's you, man. It's yeah, you. Right. New Lay's potato chips, now more than ever, too good to eat. Get help in a hurry. Call a Bryant dealer to the rescue. Bryant's quiet two-speed plus air conditioner has a lower speed to help lower your energy bill. And only your Bryant dealer has it. So call Bryant to the rescue. Call a Bryant and rescue me. Rescue me. What does it take to create something that has a timeless beauty? A very creative car company. Coming May 25th. The new Mazda MX-6. business there are comedians there are comics and once in a while rarely somebody rises above and supersedes that and becomes a comic persona under themselves i never cease to be amazed at the versatility and the wonderful work that robin williams does would you welcome him please robin williams <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
got to be good. <laughs> little something from the Elvis estate. <laughs> <laughs> little something here, it's nice. Just, uh, can I try it? Should I? Please sit on down and we'll give you a pina colonic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Can I, can I sit in the sun today? We're going to have... We're going to Spago. Spago. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I also bought you the new L.A. Medic Alert. It says, I've fallen and get the hell away from me. <laughs> A little gift. Oh, isn't that nice? Hey, huh? boss. A rocking chair. Yeah, it's little simple things. I, I got you a bunch of stuff. Just a little stuff to get you in your new life. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hey, thank you for coming. I really mean it. This is a wild night, especially with the world in such interesting... I, I was going to bring you a VCR, but the stores had none. <laughs> <laughs> a little low, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, I guess, has done a little political shopping. <laughs> it's very difficult. You see people going, Yeah, man! It's for Rodney King! And the five TVs are for me! <laughs> That's amazing! Yeah, they caught the one guy. They always catch the one wino. Uh, yeah, man! I'm really pissed off about Don King, man. <laughs> the whole Don King thing has got me down, man. Damn. And they brought in the National Guard, uh, and they, they didn't come with bullets, which is always an, an interesting thing. They couldn't find them. They couldn't find them, so they're out in the streets going, Hey, everybody! We are the world! <laughs> Uh, it's a difficult thing. Oh, yeah, but, you know... They said they saw BMWs pulling up to the radio shack. That must be great. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fabulous. This is great. <laughs> wonder if we can get store credit if you already have it. Oh, God. Where'd it go? Oh, God. I said last night, thank God for Quail. He kept us alive for two more nights. Oh, yeah, Quail. Yeah, yeah. They sent him down to the hood. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he thinks he's now a homie right now. <laughs> yeah, Dan's hanging. Look, it's Goy's in the hood. <laughs> Hi there, you have got to chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is real death. Hold it right. Whoa, what it is, what it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you dumb. <laughs> man, God, the guy is, he's like one taco short of a combination plate, you know? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I really, I think that they told him about the Murphy Brown thing. I think George said, all right, here's the deal. I want you to go out there and talk about Jerry Brown. <laughs> Jerry Brown, Jerry Brown, Jerry Brown. Buster Brown, Buster Brown, Buster Brown. Buster Brown, Buster Brown, Audi Murphy, Audi Murphy, Audi Murphy, Audi Mur Murphy Brown! Murphy Brown makes me so, don't you realize that he's Rain Man? 162, 163. He's basically, hey, Dan, do you want to be president? Yeah. Five minutes to Murphy Brown, yeah. Do you want to fly out to the coast? Yeah, Air Force One, safest plane, never crash, never crash. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good, yeah. It's amazing, he's the greatest insurance in the world. Just when someone's going, I'm gonna get that bad man, Georgia. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I pop him, he becomes... Oh, man. <laughs> Bush. And Bush is just out there going, well, thousand points of light, they're not burning anymore. Come on down, here we go. <laughs> Got a weed and seed, here we go. I figured out how you do George Bush. Yeah. Basically, what you do is you take John Wayne and you tighten up his ass. <laughs> Gonna head the wagon trains on north. Come on with me. <laughs> You need a garbage, get a garbage. Get a garbage. <laughs> I, ne I never thought chicks. of it. You never thought of it, John Wayne. Oh, it's, a, it's I, frightening. Uh, and then, I, you pilgrim, then yeah. you just bring it up a thousand points. Tied right here. up there, there you go. Yeah, right, sir. <laughs> Gonna head the wagon train through, cash some checks. Here we are. It's an amazing thing. Oh. He is, and you look, instead of cowboy boots, there's topsiders. <laughs> It's a wonderful thing. It's, I mean, uh, it's all this stuff. I mean, blaming. He goes off to... First, he, they blame... First, they start off blaming the welfare programs of the great 60s. Great society, yeah. Yeah, and then they go for Murphy Brown. Next thing, he's going, Lincoln did it all wrong. <laughs> wow, well, freed people before we had the plan in place. Not what? <laughs> what? Wrong thing there. What's going on? What do you think of Perot? Perot's amazing. He, this is a... Uh, the guy who's ahead in the pool hasn't said anything. <laughs> 
Hasn't said anything. Well, you know he's not going to write a bad check. Not <laughs> that. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll Hey, I own it. Come on down. Hey, here you go. How about this? I'll cover the saint in five days. Drinks on me. Come on down. I have a strange feeling if he gets elected, he's going to get in there and go, thank you all very much. It's just wonderful that you did this and... It's me! <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I fooled you. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing a Halloween mask. I what think you... the reason a lot of people like Perot, they think he's Frank Perdue of the I Perdue so. chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I never owned these chickens, raised them myself. <laughs> sure. Haven't got a foreign policy, but these chickens do. <laughs> Oh, God. And Clinton, everyone, basically, Clinton, the whole thing about if he's slept with different women, it doesn't matter if he's, I don't care if he's slept with a chicken. If he's got a foreign policy and a, an economic plan, great. This is a whole other thing. Yeah. Imagine if, you know, you do have a president, they find out he slept with a sheep, and you know, how was he? Not bad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> She's testifying you draw the line there, there, huh? and That's it, thank you. There we go, we stop. <laughs> And you got oh. Jerry Brown and uh, Songus, who was uh, basically, Songus was like, hello. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he was, uh, I have a fiscal budget. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I could just get that election. You yeah, know. I go away. Uh... Yeah. Uh, I think Clinton made his big mistake when he said, I didn't inhale. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's very, uh, that's a hard one to pull off. Yes, and Jerry I... Brown's problem was he never exhaled. So that's right. <laughs> Do you like that? I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Here's the type of guy, people look at Jerry Brown and go, oh my God, the man's gonna have a bake sale for the army. <laughs> people have a hurry, does, he's like the Gestalt president. Uh, and I guess that leaves, uh, and Buchanan's always over there as the anti-Bush. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Just wait and don't make a bad move. <laughs> They got all those right to life people. I mean, that was the whole Murphy Brown issue. I mean, now they're wondering, is it right to life? Is he for life? Is he against life? It doesn't matter. It's yeah. that whole thing, man. The right to life people, they, I go with you not. They say these children, they, yeah. they're right to life. But the moment they're born, they go, I'm out of here. Yeah. As soon as they get Gotta that go. call. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. uh, See ya. God, you're marvelous. You're marvelous. I got to take a break here. We're coming back. Snickers Bar, the official snack food sponsor of the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. Packed with fresh roasted peanuts, thick milk chocolate, and caramel, Snickers satisfies the hunger inside you. There's a hunger inside Dad, me. Dad, I did There's it. A hunger inside you. Want to win a free trip to Cancun, Keystone Resort, Hawaii, or Florida? Just find the Energizer Bunny. Not here. Here, in specially marked packages of Energizer batteries. And you could win one of thousands of prizes. The Energizer sweepstakes. If he's in there, you're out of here. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Must be 18 years or older to play. Entrance must be of human origin. Not applicable if used during a total eclipse of the sun. Ford trucks. The best never rest. People used to go out on Saturday night and leave their truck at home. Times have changed. Our 92 full-size pickup is still built Ford Tough, but we designed it to be more stylish outside, more comfortable inside. Now, if anything gets left at home, it'll probably be their car. More people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before. When you want the great taste of fresh-squeezed orange juice, a juice made with only 100% pure oranges, remember, no other major brand comes closer to this than this. Tropicana Pure Premium, with no water added and none taken away. In fact, this is all we ever add. So when you want that great fresh squeezed taste, remember, you just can't pick a better juice than Tropicana Pure Premium. Every Memorial Day, you can count on the aroma of barbecue filling the air and on Lucky to help you celebrate with savings. Savings that were as high as 7.1% in our latest survey. This week, save on USDA Select Beef Loin T-Bone Steaks, Family Pack, $2.79 a pound. And Frying Chicken Leg Quarters, individually quick frozen, five pound bag, 39 cents a pound. Proven lower Lucky prices, count on that every day.
Sometimes on late night, it's not what a guest will say that's so good, it's what they won't say. Like Jan Hooks, or possibly even Donald Trump. Only on Dave's show. This guy, host of The Tonight Show? Host? I said, sure. Stay up later for the rest of the Jay Leno story. Well, this is great. I love this apple. Thank you. Good night. You had to get the car with air conditioning. With cruise control and an AM FM cassette stereo. The car recently named one of the world's best overall car values. Well, now the monthly payment is due, and it's just $149 a month. Get a Nissan Sentra XE for just $149 a month with a $149 down payment. See your Nissan dealer and ask about our special 36-month lease. So with this flavorizer system, right. you can just put the food in and walk away? Hey, that's the beauty of cruise control. Genesis, the Weber of gas grills. You need to hire a babysitter, but can you trust her with your husband? What if the person you hire to care for your child destroys your marriage? When your husband sleeps with your babysitter, next Donahue. At 3 on Channel 4. Get a head start with Metro Traffic, mornings at 6 and 6.30. All right, we are back. Now, yeah. What do you do? You said that you still have your... Uh, Ranch, you call it a ranchette or a rancher? A ranchero. Si. A ranchero. See, si. 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 a big ranch up there. Big ranch. Not like Ron. I don't go up there a lot. You know? I see. <laughs> Hanging out there is Ron with Nancy going, Move it, old man! <laughs> <laughs> let's go! All right, let's go. <laughs> yep. Let's yep. get on the horse. Even the horse is going, again. <laughs> the horsey is ready. Yeah, the horse are my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Meant no harm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, now the new baby? Yes, there is a new baby. Yeah, six months old. Six months, it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. That's the two now? Or? Three. Three? I have three children three. that I know of. Of course. <laughs> no, there's an amazing thing because um, when they're born, they're so exquisite. They're perfectly formed. This is a little boy. Yeah. Perfectly formed, and then these incredibly huge cojones. Three. <laughs> As we say, big cojones. <laughs> Is that a, and if that's bleeped, good luck. Is that a, is that a family tree, long-running family, family tree? I don't know. I certainly yeah, hope. I hope Your grandfather had a great set, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's amazing. I think, I hope he grows into these. <laughs> I hope they all just keep getting proportionally the same, or it's like, hi, right, I'm here. <laughs> well, we're, we're out of here tomorrow night. What do I care? <laughs> What are they going to do? I know. And me. You get those letters. Dear Mr. Curran. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, too you get late. Get forward this to him. <laughs> uh, I assume when he, when he came out for a moment, I said, my God. My God, something's the, wrong with him. The blonde hair. I assume it's for a motion picture role? Or yes, it's uh, for a movie called... Is it bleach from the sun on the ranch? Or... Yeah, just, you know, just... I did this. I just, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have my own little cable talk show. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to In Your Ear. <laughs> My guests tonight rappin', are Mother Teresa rappin', and... Rappin' with Robin. Rappin' with Robin. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Feels like one of those things has guests like, uh, here, my guests are Mother Teresa and Ruta Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and later, Mason Reese will you be may, along. Yeah. Mother Teresa's here pushing her new perfume. It's called Compassion. <laughs> <laughs> the scent of sentiment. <laughs> oh, no, I did this um, for a movie. People look at me and go, why, why is that you here, man? You know, it's... Why was it important to be blonde in the, in the picture? I, just to kind of bother people, I think. And <laughs> I, it's for this to be, it's a strange movie. It's, it's called Toys. I, yeah, it's about a toy factory, and I guess they wanted me to be some, so people would go, oh, wrong. No. Something's happened to him. Is this, it's very strange to sit in a Is this a, a comic salon. picture with serious overtones or a serious picture with comic overtones? Yes, and we hope for all of those. Yes. <laughs> and you have to get it done every three weeks. It's that whole thing of, <coughs> you're sitting in a beauty parlor and this whole thing, and you've got tin in your hair, you get great reception. And they've, uh, it's very difficult to be sitting under a hairdryer going, hey, how about those bulls, huh? <laughs> hey, great game, yeah? <laughs> Want some more coffee? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm doing real good. Oh. But it's, um... I understand comic relief raised, how much money did you raise this year? We raised about $6 million. Well, that's, that's amazing. Great. Huh? That's good. That's nice. It's an incredible... 
It's an amazing thing because it's, we, it's just money. It, you think of all the money in the world, it's basically about a, a tire for one airplane. But it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's the money that goes for medical aid just to keep people going. You, you think know? they could do without uh, one, uh, another B-1 or stealth bomber, right? Just for what? about $900 million or something. A million? Like that. Ooh, that's just that's yeah. spare parts. Yeah. You know, it's those things. Got to do it trying to make it happen. <laughs> Points of light. Yeah. Dan, uh, what do you think about Roe versus Wade? Uh, I prefer to float. Okay. <laughs> That yeah. Yeah. <laughs> both good fighters. Yeah, right? both good. <laughs> Trying to make it happen. Oh, uh, what do you do? What do you do when you get any spare time? When you're not doing concert and comic relief and working your material out in clubs and so forth? Well, I try and uh, I run a lot. I know that. I, I mean, I run cross country and stuff because it's so much cheaper than the old ways. <laughs> you know, people aren't. You know, you don't go out when you're running. Nobody go. No, man, you need another pair of shoes. <laughs> you know, it's very difficult. But I'd run just because you get that endorphin. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is like uh, your body's way of saying, this really hurts, I'm going to medicate you. <laughs> That's why you see marathon runners are just like, how you doing? <laughs> but I, I run... Have you got I, that low heartbeat now that marathon runners get? Oh, that Some real low heartbeat. Some have like something like 36 or 40 beats yeah, a minute? basically down around squirrel. I mean, but well, you, you get that really, really, really low heartbeat where it's like... Boom. Yeah. I mean, I try and do a lot of different things. I mean, it's, um, um, just, and I play with my children a lot. Yeah. That's important. It's they, great having you here. I, I This think, is an amazing night. I I think, why don't you, what are you going to do after this? Why don't you run for, pro go run for office, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How about it? No, no, they'll go. They'll, you and they'll go back when I was in high school and find out what Francine Corbin I did <laughs> in, the, in the back of a 39 Chrysler, and that will come out That's to haunt like, me. You know. Oh, they look into your background. Oh, too they much. go you... beyond that. That's the type of scrutiny. And even Washington would go, "Thank you, I'm out of here." Thank you. <laughs> no one could survive the scrutiny no, of that. But I mean, more. you could do it, and maybe you could either run with Gorbachev. It'd be oh. great. He doesn't have a green card, but what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the man's truly an independent. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. We're coming back. Oh. This brings back memories. <laughs> oh, these are great. What's this remind you of? Mm, tastes like vanilla, huh? Senior trip. Paris. The cafe! Yeah. Rich, creamy tasting coffee with a hint of vanilla flavor. French Vanilla Cafe. I love this coffee. From General Foods International Coffees. I loved that waiter. Jean-Luc! <laughs> Of your life. Doctors have prescribed Monistat for years. It's what I used whenever I had a yeast infection. Monistat is a name you trust. But recently I've seen other products in the store and I wanted to double check, so I called my doctor. My doctor said Monistat is still the right cure for me. That's all I had to hear. For years, doctors have prescribed Monistat 7 nearly 4 to 1 over the next competitor's product. Monistat works. It's the cure I trust. Trust the cure you know. Monistat 7. Put the power of an upright in the palm of your hand with the Royal Dirt Devil. It has a revolving brush and it can handle all kinds of dirt. Pick up the handheld vac that really picks up. Dirt Devil by Royal. With Matchlight, you get the best charcoal, Kingsford, with just the right amount of lighter fluid already added. That's why there's only one match for Match Light from King. A laser is so precise, even the Lexus ES300 sports sedan is bound to trip one of the beams. After all, you have to get out sometime. Okay, now. Since, uh, since her first appearance with us as the outrageous Chanteuse, the Divine Miss Sam, my next guest, as you well know, has gone on to become internationally recognized as star of films, television, concert, and recordings, and uh, I'm delighted she is here tonight. Would you welcome Bette Midler? Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Madam, Miss Otis regrets 
regret she's unable to lunch today. Mm -hmm. She is sorry to be delayed, but last I think it's... Yes, yes, well, yes I do. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fashion statement. Thank you. Yeah. I was the last one out of Fredericks of Hollywood before they torched it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you, now who would set fire to a bunch of brassiers, dear? Oh, I'm, so glad, no, I'm so glad you're here tonight. I am so glad to be here. This is really nice here. of you to come so on to next to closing show. You're you're so sweet. You're oh, so kind. I'm well, you to come here. So you... far, but you're so not... long, and I'm so agitated, and I'm so famished about this whole thing. You're leaving, <laughs> and we go back. It's an old Indian word. Yes, famished. I hope so. I got to say, famished, for drape, for for blundered, for for cocked, for. But I chose. For, I should have said for toots. For toots. Because that's really how I feel. Yeah. But I'm really, really, I'm so excited. But well, I, we... you know, I'm. I can't imagine what life is going to be like without you, but that's another story. That's you know? it, and, I'm, and really. probably a long one. Do you not remember the first time? I, you know, I was so You desperate. auditioned for this show. I you did. were working, I'll tell you where you were working. You were working at a place called the Continental Baths that's in right. New York. That's right. When I was also working with Bud Friedman. He was my manager at the time. Right. I was so desperate to get onto your show that I used to send, uh, I used to run up to your office and I used to drop uh, other people's 8 by 10s off, <laughs> hoping that... Hoping that you would, I, I sent you an I sent you an eight by ten of Barbara Lamar. Barbara Lamar. Barbara Lamar. She was a twenties actress. She was she was dead. <laughs> so I thought I was safe. I thought it was like appropriate because at the time I was singing twenties and thirties songs. In fact, uh, uh, at the time I was. Uh, in fact, I remember the first time I sang for you. I sang uh, on your show. I sang an old Mae West song. I did. I sang a Mae West song. Come up and see me sometime. And she slapped me with a cease and desist order. Really? Yes, she did. Oh. She did. I was the first uh, woman to ever receive such a thing. The other previous recipients had all been uh, drag queens. I, I, was, I, was, I was the first woman. What an honor. You don't remember my audition. You don't remember the audition that I finally got on your show. We used that had all, we used a little theater called Johnny Victor That's Theater. That's right. That's right. It was. By and NBC. Was, yes. And it was very exciting. This is what happened to me. 
I got out of my cab, out of the cab. I was wearing a thrift, a thrift store outfit. I was wearing a brown velvet dress. Right. And the thing ripped right across, a horizontal rip right across the seat as I got out of the car. And Bud Friedman was my manager. I said, Bud, Bud, for God's sake, give me your jacket. He said, no, what about my dignity? <laughs> I said, Bud, what about my tush? <laughs> and then I had no, I didn't have a, a needle and thread to sew it, so I had to like undo a paper clip and go into the washroom and like stitch up this with a paper clip. And I was so pissed off by the time I got out of there that I sang notes I didn't know I had. Yeah. Really. And, I, and, and, the, and everyone on the show said, my God, this woman is completely demented. We have to get her on, here, on, our, on your show. And that's how I started. Yeah, that's but you are great. You are great. <laughs> We're coming back. Stay where you are, folks. At Sears Brand Central, you can always count on quality, great prices, and people like me. I'm Mike Foster, and right now, our once-a-year Carnival Values event means great savings on hundreds of items. Here's just a few examples. This 100-watt Sony rack stereo system with CD player. Count on saving $100. Or get this LXI low-light camcorder with additional accessories. At $799.88, it's never been priced lower. And there's much more, so hurry. This once-a-year event ends Saturday. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar made a little bet with his good friend Larry Bird. I'll tell you what, I bet you can't eat just one. One Lay's potato chip. One turn. Kareem failed to mention that these were new Lay's potato chips. It's a real bet. And if you lose, then I win the bet. <laughs> Crunchier Lay's potato chips with more potato taste. Uh -huh. So they're more irresistible than ever. Just, just one? I can't believe you did this to me. Oh, no, it's you, man. It's yeah, you. All right. New Lay's potato chips, now more than ever, too good to eat just one. Oh boy, it's gonna surprise you You'll never believe what you're getting into It ain't her way Oh, I hardly recognize you Just wait till we get our hands on you Wait, Ooh, can't wait Can't wait Just wait till we get our hands on you What does it take to create something that has a timeless beauty? A very creative car company. Coming May 25th, the new Mazda MX-6. Aspen Cologne for men. A compelling new experience for women. Aspen, now. We're back with Robin and Beck. Oh. oh my. Well, I, as I was saying that. Yeah, as you were saying. As I was saying that. I was so, I was so fatutzed. I was so freaked out that I wasn't going to get everything out that I wanted to say to Mr. Carson on this uh, most auspicious occasion. That I, ha I sat down the other day and I tried to make some coherent thought, uh, sense out of my thoughts. Because this is important to me and I have a lot to say and I know that most women in America wish they had this opportunity to, uh, to tell you how they feel about you. So I wrote a little letter and I, I would you mind dreadfully <laughs> 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 if I uh, sang it to you? I think it'd be real nice. Okay. They think I don't have it written. It is written. Dear Mr. Carson, I am writing this to you and I hope that you will read it so you'll know my heart goes pitter-patter and I stutter and I stammer every time I see you on your TV show. I guess I'm just another fan of yours and I thought I'd write and tell you so. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was pretty sweet, guys. You made me watch you. I didn't want to do it. Jack Parr had put me through it. <laughs> you made me watch you. I love the jokes you're flogging when you are monologuing. I watched your hair turn slowly from dark to white. And when I can't sleep, I count your wives at night. <laughs> Love you, babe. I drop my drawers for the kind of bucks you're making for simple double taking. Before you be 
good idea. Don't be cheap. Put the cordova to sleep. <laughs> The shivers, Arsenio is at the gate and salt shown the rivers. You know they made me watch you. Ah, oh, gee, Mr. Carson, I don't want to bother you. It's just that when I heard that you were leaving, well, it kind of broke my heart. I mean, I can't tell you how many nights I've laid in bed watching you, thinking to myself, should I change the color of my toenail polish? <laughs> you know, Johnny, I gotta tell you, you're the greatest straight man that ever walked the earth. And I've known my share of straight men. <laughs> I gotta ask you, though. Johnny, what are you gonna do with all that free time? I mean, Wimbledon only comes. It's only one week a year. Did you ever really stop to consider what would become of Ed? <laughs> Not to mention Dot and the band. <laughs> well, maybe I'm just being selfish, because after all, my life is going to change the most. I mean, how am I going to get by without you? You sexy thing. <laughs> your charm, your wit. Your talent, your civility, and all your fabulous, fabulous guests. How I'll miss the social intercourse so very. Now I have to have it with the guy I marry. Now I'd rather watch you. I booked, I booked, I, I think I booked Ozzy and Harry to the Twilight Zone tonight. I mean, that is marvelous. Oh, you That is marvelous. Well, it's what you deserve. You. Well, it, actually, it's more than you deserve. Actually, oh. it's no. <laughs> I'll tell you, you are really getting out just at the right time. Oh. You really are. I mean, I once was out considered quite outrageous, you know, but yeah, I... Were those years? Yes, were you... Those, I was, I was like the height of outrageousness. Have you mellowed? I, no, I haven't mellowed, no. But I tell you, I'm glad that I, my outrageousness peaked just before crotch grabbing. You see, I, 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 cause I, I, that was like beyond me. It's like, like one step missed in potty training. You catch my drip. Oh, you do it all the time. I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, That's some, all right. Some I've been to that whole, sh I've been to the chick center for the, uh, <laughs> for the, <laughs> for, for Oh no. <laughs> Loving a, uh, sorry. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Uh, but look at that. The good news is Jack Nicholson has a baby. Ah. <laughs> Sitting at home right now going, all right, kids, we're going to read something from Henry Miller. Anybody got a problem? <laughs> This is fun. I heard that your favorite song was uh, uh, Here's That Rainy Day. Rainy Day and yeah. I'll Be Seeing You, both of those. Well, I'll Be Seeing You. No, they're, they're both war songs, I think. Yes, so, you know? they are and both I think war songs. Who, who but somebody already sang uh, I'll yeah. Be Seeing You, that's right. Well, you can't oh, I can sing a chorus of, uh, of uh, Maybe I Should Have Saved Those Leftover Dreams. Funny, Funny but, but here's that, that rainy day. day. Here's that, that rainy day they told me about. And, and I, I laughed, laughed at the thought that it might turn out this way. Where is that worn out wish that I threw aside? After you brought my love so near. Funny how love becomes a cold. Rainy day, funny that rainy day is here.
They want so I shop at Hughes because they take double coupons I get more for my money and their premier checkout lets me pay with a check ATM or bank card I get everything I want and the value I need like Sundance sparklers just 189 Keebler snack chips 99 cents and freshly ground beef 87 cents a pound there's no place like Hughes with double coupons my family gets the best of everything Dave line two Hello? Oh, sorry, I sold my Honda last night. Hello? Oh, you're a little late. Thanks anyway. <laughs> no, you can't buy the one I just got. But I'll give you the name of my dealer. With one of the highest resale values in its class, the Honda Accord is a good place to put your money. A dozen different people call today for the car. Just ask anyone who owns one. I could have sold that car ten times. Dave, line two. It's my birthday. But we're not doing anything special. We ordered dinner in. Jeff tried to make a cake. That's about all. Just an evening at home. Alone. Together. Um, one thing. He promised to wash my hair. Nexus. I love your hair. Only in salons. Another Home Depot certified advantage. Guaranteed low prices. Home Depot will beat any price from any store on any identical item any day. Nobody beats Home Depot's everyday low price. Five gallons of Dutch Boy Confident Interior Latex Flat Paint is only $34.92. That's an everyday low price of just $6.98 per gallon. Home Depot, Home Depot. Low prices are just the beginning. Okay, and once again, here's Bette Midler. Well, you know, when they asked me to come on, and... I can't believe it! The last, the last guest, the last fool, Mr. Carson, will have to suffer gladly. You are the wind beneath my wings. Oh, well, he is. Quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. So set him up, Joe. Got a little story I think you should know. We're drinking, my friend, to the end of a sweet episode. Make it one for my baby and one more for. the routine so drop another nickel in the machine oh gee I'm feeling so bad wish you'd make the music so dreamy and sad you could tell Let's make it one for my baby and one more for the road. You may not know it, but buddy, you're a kind of poet and you've had a lot of things to say. And when I'm gloomy, you always listen to me until it's torn away well that's how it goes 
And John, I know you're getting anxious to close. So thanks for the cheer. I hope you didn't mind me bending your ear. For class that you showed make it one for my baby and one more for the road that long long Thank you, Ben. Oh. She really is. What a special night. I, uh, my thanks to Ben. My gratitude to Robin Williams for making this a very special night. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you soon. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow.